yes, this is pasta. And you know what? Today we will do it by the book. Stay with me. For today's recipe, I will use semolina, multi-purpose flour, six eggs, a bit of olive oil, and salt. I'm splitting here the first four yolks from the egg whites. And now the two remaining eggs. Remember here we need 185 grams of liquid. A bit of salt and then we mix it. I will make a Vulcan shape here with the flour. And now I'm adding the eggs. Start slowly mixing the eggs. It's important here to add slowly the flour to the eggs and then mix it. Now I will bring all together and start the kneading. Here is when the things start becoming sticky, but believe me, with a lot of pleasure. And we capture everything here from the flower, don't leave anything behind. This is for me typically 10 minutes kneading process, but depending on how strong you are, can be less or can be a bit more. Yeah, I know, with semolina is by far harder, but believe me, it is by far tastier. Oh, now that our dough it is silky and elastic as we wanted, we will just hydrate it a bit more with a bit of olive oil. Seems to be at the perfect point. I'll cut it in four and cover the rest. We need to stretch it first before bringing it into the rolling machine. And then we will need to build a rectangle. I will keep rolling it until the thickness reach one millimeter. I'm placing them aside, the ones that they are ready, with a bit of semolina in the cutting board that then is not sticking there. Finally, fun begins. Let's start cutting our pasta. Now I'm cutting this one as tagliatelle. And they are done. And now we will switch to other shapes. Some nice Italian ham, together with a bit of cottage cheese, usually that's a perfect filling that you can prepare in just a few minutes. Mm. 
And now we will prepare with this some stuffed pasta. This is a typical handmade ravioli shape. They are a bit too big, but they are still fantastic. And now the tortellini. I have to say that this is one of my favorite pasta shape because they are easy to make, they are small enough, so boiling time, it is something like two minutes, then you put it together with the sauce. So I really love them. And look at it, how not to love them. I know the shape looks a bit tricky now, but believe me, it is super easy to make and let me know, I can teach you in just a two minutes video how to prepare them. I am spraying a bit of water on top of the dough because here is too dry and it's not helping to close. And now I will prepare the agnolotti. Here while cutting, remember to apply it quite some pressure because this is always helping to seal the edges of the pasta better. A bit of flour on top and they are done. And this is how I'm making the dough for most of my pasta. And here I serve it with some ragu sauce, also known as bolognese. What's your favorite pasta? Do you want me to prepare it for you? Let me know in the comment sections and I'll do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.